What's up guys, it's Ami, Govtsin, and today we're continuing the glory train with a guide on the glory of the Dragon Soul Raider, which awards this Alexstrasza looking mount, the Reigns of the Twilight Harbinger. The raid is located in Tenaris, in the Caverns of Time. You can see right here is the Dragon Soul entrance. So this is where you will need to come to enter the raid. The achievements, there's only a few of them. There's seven achievements on the bosses, and you also need to kill a few of them on heroic difficulty. So before you even enter the raid, make sure the raid difficulty is set to heroic. And if you forget about it, you don't get the heroic achievements for killing the bosses. It's not a problem because the last achievement on Deathwing, you will need to kill him four times, which takes four weeks. So you have time to correct that mistake anyways. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and knock out these achievements. The first achievement of the first boss Morchok is called Don't Stand So Close To Me. And all you need to do is defeat Morchok without two or three players ever being within five yards of each other while Morchok is channeling Black Blood of the Earth. So obviously from the name of the achievements, uh, since you're here alone, all you will need to do is just kill the boss and you will get the achievement. Because there is no other player to stand close to you while he's doing his channel. And he's not even gonna channel since you kill him so fast. So there it is, don't stand so close to me. Very easy achievement. The achievement on Warlords on Oz is called Ping Pong Champion. And all you need to do is bounce the void of the unmaking 10 times and then defeat the boss. So to get this achievement, you just need to engage the boss. I'll engage him with a counter spell, just to make sure I don't one-shot him with one of my spells. And he's gonna spawn this Void of the Unmaking, so make sure to target it. And whenever you walk into it, it will gain a stack of Void Diffusion. And this is what you can use to track the achievement, because whenever you walk into it, it'll change directions. So you need to do this 10 times. You need to ping pong it 10 times. So there we go. There is ping pong number four. Ping pong number five. And whenever this hits a wall, it will despawn. So make sure that you are kind of kinding it in the middle. The ball is pretty slow, so you shouldn't really have a problem of ping ponging it 10 times before it hits a wall. But it's just a precaution to be safe. So here we have ping pong it nine times already. This is number 10. And since we are paranoid players, we will hit it one more time. As you can see, it doesn't get any more stacks. It doesn't get more stacks than 10, but we've bounced it 12 times. So now it's time to kill the boss. And I could have cast a spell on him. I don't have enough to one shot him. And there it is, ping pong champion. Very simple achievement. The next achievement is called Taste the Rainbow on your Sashti and Sleeping. All you need to do for this achievement is experience the following color combinations and then defeat the boss. The combinations are black and yellow, red and green, black and blue, purple and yellow. For this achievement I would recommend tracking it right here. The tracking doesn't really work because normally it would be red and once you meet the criteria it would turn white. To signified that it's complete but whenever you engage the boss as you can see it's already white so tracking this achievement through the default blizzard tracker is not gonna work unfortunately so you will need to keep these combinations in mind and seeing them here is gonna help you do that once you engage the boss he will just start randomly attacking you and right now he will port to the middle of the room and start spawning these orbs the bloods of shuma they will start slowly walking towards him, and whenever they reach him, he will gain a buff. So right now, he summoned a blue, black, purple, and yellow. So, from here, you should... It doesn't matter if all four of them reach. You can just look at the color combinations he will have, and from there, you can see which of the combinations you already have done. So... He has a yellow and a black one, so the first one, the first part is done. He has a black and a blue, so black and blue is done. And he has purple and yellow, that is done here. So all we'll, or 
all we are waiting for now is a red and green combination. This boss legit has no way of killing you at this point in time. So if you don't really want to worry about keeping track of this achievement, you can just engage the boss and go AFK for a few minutes. And honestly, you could probably assume that after a few minutes, the achievement will be complete. So, yeah, it's up to you if you want to track this manually or just go AFK for a few minutes. So right now, as mentioned, I just need red and green. And I will not get it at this time. There is a green one, but there is not a red one. So I will have to wait for a few more minutes until his next phase. So for example, with this color combination, I can just have a look again and see that uh, purple and yellow would be complete with this set of bloods. And that's it. None other would have been completed. He goes into this phase every 35 minutes. Oh, so here he's calling a green and a red or and a red blood. So that's the last one that we needed, red and green. So once those reach him, we will have the achievement complete and we will be able to kill the boss. And there we go. He has a red. He has a red buff. Crimson Blood Ashuma and a green blood. So now we can kill him and we will receive the achievement. There we go. Taste the rainbow. Pretty simple achievement of just waiting until you have all the combinations. You can just either AFK for three to five minutes or just keep track of it and do it once it's complete. Next achievement after that painful gauntlet on Ultraxian is called Two. Minutes to midnight. And all you need to do is defeat Ultraxian without any raid member getting hit by our Twilight more than once. So this is a very simple achievement where you just insta-kill the boss and you will receive the achievement. And yeah, there it is. Minutes to midnight. And this boss also has a chance to drop a mount called Experiment 12B. So I wish you luck. And let's see if I got it. It is done. No, I didn't. The next achievement on Warmaster Blackhorn is called Tech Defender. And all you need to do is defeat the boss without any Twilight Barrages damaging the Skyfire. Which, this achievement is very simple to do. If you have a ranged ability to one-shot these Assault Drakes, then you will not have to worry about this achievement at all whatsoever. You just kill the drakes as soon as they spawn. And if any of the Twilight Barrages come in, you can just soak them. They will have a circle like this. The Twilight Onslaught is, is not it. It's called Twilight Barrage, which is cast by these. Whenever they spawn, I will show you. This is an infiltrator, so it will just drop a rogue that's gonna run towards it, and you need to kill him. You don't need to worry about that. But these are the Twilight Assault Drakes. If you kill them as soon as they spawn, then you will not have to worry about the Twilight Barrages. I will keep this Assault Drake alive, just to show you what it actually looks like if you're not able to kill them. But this is the barrage, you need to soak these. If you're not able to kill them instantly, you need to make sure you soak these swirlies. So, it's a very simple achievement to do. Oh yeah, uh, we soaked everything, we didn't let any casts go off. So now we can just go ahead and kill Warmaster Blackhorn. And we will receive the achievement. There it is, Deck Defender. Alright, the next achievement of the Spine of Deathwing is called Maybe He'll Get Dizzy. And all you need to do is defeat the encounter after tricking Deathwing into performing the following roll sequence. Left, right, left, right. So to get this achievement, 
So you can just kill these two tentacles. And as it is said, you need to go left, right, left, right. So you can stand on the left inside this this thing. It actually roots you. So he's about to roll left right now because you're standing left. He rolls left and it doesn't knock you off because you are standing inside this thing that roots you. So he rolled left. Now we go to the right. He will stand inside this. He is going to roll right. There we go. He just rolled to the right. So now he just go to the left side again. And there we go, he just rolled left, and for the last time we go to the right. And I'm tracking this achievement here, it's actually red, so this one probably works. So once he rolls right, this should turn white. And there we go, the achievement criteria has been met. So now we can go ahead and kill this annoying ass boss. So to kill this boss, you just... Who avoid any rolling because the rolling knocks away these hideous amalgamations. So you just need to be strafing from left to right. And this amalgamation needs to get nine stacks for it to explode and uh, like explode off this plate, and that will reveal the weak spot that you need to kill. I have no idea how I'm gonna do this as a frost mage because I have uh, splitting eyes. I'm scared that my ice lens is going to hit the amalgamation so you need at least nine of these bloods and once you kill a blood it will drop a blob on the floor and whenever this amalgamation picks it up uh, can i please target the amalgamation it will gain a stack of absorbed blood and once it reaches nine it will trigger an explosion that will knock off this plate so i'll just take this I'll just take this slow with fire blasts. We'll put him on focus just so I know how many stacks he has. Okay, now he is at nine stacks, and you can see he got a new buff called Superheated Nucleus. And he will trigger a nuclear blast when destroyed. So now you can kill it. And it will trigger this nuclear blast. Make sure it's standing close to the plate. And now that it exploded, it will reveal these, the burning tendon, which you need to kill to, to progress further. And you need to do this three times. So kill one of the tentacles to reveal an amalgamation. And again, just strafe left and right to avoid getting rolled off and kill the bloods one by one until the amalgamation has nine stacks and then you can kill that amalgamation and just rinse and repeat. Okay, so here we are on the last plate. Let's kill it. Maybe let's watch Thrall being a beast. Burning Deathwing right through him. Not bad, not bad. And conveniently falls right into the Maelstrom. And here we go. We got the achievement. Maybe he'll get dizzy. Achievement earned today. After tricking Deathwing into rolling left, right, left, right. So, pretty simple achievement to get. Let's move on to the last achievement. All right, the last achievement on the Madness of Deathwing is called Chromatic Champion. And in this achievement, you need to destroy Deathwing on normal or heroic difficulty after beginning the encounter on each aspect's platform and allowing Deathwing to assault that aspect. So once you finish the Spine of Deathwing, you will be on this platform with Thrall. 
And if you look behind, you can see each of the aspects behind you. They have a corresponding platform to them. You can just walk freely in between the platforms. So whenever you're facing the boss to the right, you have Kalichkos on the platform over here. You've got Isera on the platform where you come in. You've got Nosdormu on the next one over here and Alexstrasza on the last one there. So the point of this achievement is to begin the encounter on each of these platforms every time. So, for example, right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speak with Thrall to begin the encounter. You need to speak with Thrall to tell him we defeated the destroyer and then begin the encounter. And as soon as you begin the encounter, you just go to a platform. So since this is my first time doing this on this character, for example, I will, to make it easier, I will begin the encounter from here and have Deathwing start assaulting College Coast first. Next week, when I would come here, I would start the encounter on this platform. The following week, I would start the encounter here. And the last week, I would start it on Alex Strasse's platform. And that is all to this achievement. It's very easy. It's, again, one of these achievements where you don't need to do anything special. Just once you begin the encounter, just kill the boss, but make sure you start on a different platform each time. You can, of course, begin from Alexstrasza going towards Kalichkos, or from Kalichkos towards Alexstrasza. That is obviously up to you. So let's begin. I will go to College Ghost's platform, but I think I need to talk to Thrall again, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you need to speak to Thrall once more. So I will speak to him again, and this inconceivable, he couldn't possibly be alive, and this is what starts your encounter. So once you press this, the encounter will start, so you need to make sure that once you press this and begin the encounter, you go to the platform that you need. So, do you want to start the encounter? Yes. Okay, and let's go to Calico's platform. And he begins to cast Assault Aspects, as you can see, and he assaults Calico's. So you really need to make sure you are very quick, especially when you need to start it on Alex Traza's platform. There it is. We defeated the boss. And as you can see in my achievements, Caligos assaulted first, got tick task complete. So next week, you do a different one. And you will have to come here four times in total, so three more times after this. So yeah, that is it. For the glory of the Dragon Soul Raider. Pretty simple achievements. The last boss has a chance to drop two additional mounts. And I'm gonna skip the cinematic just so that we can see if I got a mount or not. You have a chance of receiving the Lifebinder's Handmaiden and the Blazing Drake. I haven't got those just yet. Because this raid is so annoying. Like honestly, the bosses are very annoying. There's so much RP that you need to go through. So let's see if I got lucky. I didn't get any. That's unfortunate. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. That was the glory of the Dragon Soul Raider. Next will be the glory of the dungeons, of the Cataclysm dungeons. And then we're on to Pandaria. So yeah. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, see you next time.